in an event of an accident there are two kinds of people guilty and victim now no matter what role one is playing both will definitely pay the price of an accident according to the ministry of road transport and highways in 2022 4.6 lakh people met with an accident out of which 1.6 lakh people lost their lives and if you go through the document page by page you will discover some interesting facts number 1 the majority of fatal accidents happened on states and national highways fact number 2 two, two wheelers accounted for the highest number of accidents so what can we do to save ourselves in this video we'll be discussing that how one can be a guilty of an accident scenario number 1 keep in mind that unlike cars we motorcyclists we don't have any global encap ratings we are exposed to the elements and we have to take care of ourselves so before you head out and start your engine make sure your bike is in optimum condition you have to check the brake you have to check the oil level you have to check the tire pressure the point is that no matter what you do a well maintained motorcycle is always a safer motorcycle to ride Now you must have heard about this statement speed thrills but it kills but i beg to differ you know speed doesn't kill you it's this sudden stop that transfer all of that energy to a different plane altogether so speed doesn't kill you it's the sudden stop that makes you dead now let's look at how you can stop yourself from being over speeding you know our highways are dotted with all of these signals speed limits etc etc but you and me we both know that it's just a formality nobody follows that right but here is the fun fact out of all the accidents that has been reported in 2022 over speeding was the top most category of accident now that tells something you see whenever we go on a ride we go through various stages is of the road you start up from a city or town then you hit the highway then in between you go through some villages and all of that now you have to be modulating the speed according to the situation that you are in you cannot ride at 120 km per hour in a city road that would be foolish right and you also have to figure out a way to enjoy the speed the faster you go slower it feels and hamara jo human brain hota hai na isko hamesha zyada chahiye rehta hai Even if you are riding at 120 kilometers per hour, you will feel that you are riding at 50 kilometers per hour. You have to go faster. So try to enjoy the speed in a different way. If you are riding at let's say 60 kilometers per hour, you are already faster than yourself. There is no Nobel prize of you being riding at 160 kilometers per hour. But if you are someone who just loves speed, then go on a race track. You can go gung ho on the throttle. Nobody will stop you. motor vlogging yeah i know i am also guilty of that but remember one thing there is no harm in recording your journey you are having the best time of your life and you want to share that with rest of the world motor vlogging should not rob your attention from riding now i'm not going to say what to do what not to do you guys are mature enough you know what i'm trying to say that being said let's look at point number 4 of you being guilty don't get triggered easier said than done ye parking hai ye parking hai line dekh idhar ye parking hai you might be triggered and you might be chasing that vehicle you know uh, to catch that guy to bash him or whatever but it should not be at the cost of your life while you are speeding chasing that vehicle you are putting yourself and others in danger when you are on the road try to be as calm as cool headed as possible now let's look at couple of points where you can be the victim of an accident we riders we are doing multitasking all the time when you are on the road riding your dream machine your left hand is on the clutch and other switches your right hand is on the throttle and front brake your left leg is on the gears and your right leg is on the rear brake and your eyes are looking at everything your ears listening to the surroundings and all of this organ working at the same time to create this harmony that we call riding but remember one thing our brain is not designed to do multitasking however we can still manage everything at once because our brain has very 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 low latency between two actions now enough of biology all i am trying to say is that when you are on the road riding for a longer time let's say 8 hours 9 hours you are getting tired your brain is getting tired your body might be active but your brain 
it cannot take it anymore so when you are on the road make sure to give ample amount of break to yourself know your limits if you cannot ride more than 60 kilometers at once it's okay you will improve remember all of these actions will become your subconscious activity and at that time you will be able to ride longer distance now where is the connection between you being victim versus your brain doing multitasking you see whenever your brain is tired you can take some of the wrong decisions decisions might put you in the place where you were the victim so overall what you can do to save yourself let's look at that number 1 tailgating whenever you go on highways you always see some of the other people who are tailgating you or it's you who are tailgating others the point is that if you tailgate so much then things like this will definitely happen you know your vehicle you know your motorcycle you know how fast you can stop depending on that you decide what would be ideal gap for you so do not apply sudden brake try to avoid it as much as possible obviously in a panic situation you don't have any other option let's say you are going at 80 km per hour and all of a sudden you see a dog crossing the road you don't have time you just have to do panic braking that is understandable try to understand how you can brake your speed effectively while you are riding your motorcycle build the habit of keeping this finger on the front brake lever this will save you a lot of time remember in an accident a 1 second time is a very big time it can save your life let's look at point number 3 definitely do not ride without your rear view mirror personally speaking i cannot ride without rear view mirror so make sure even if it kills your uh, motorcycle design overall design especially bikes like classic meteor where royal enfield gives those round shaped mirror in my opinion they don't do a justice if you can get rid of them i know it's a difficult choice because it kills the classic look but you know safety first especially when you are riding on highways number 4 always try to maintain an equal speed with the traffic let's say you are riding on highway and the traffic is moving at let's say 85 km per hour so you will have to be at that speed to maintain that equilibrium so try to gel with that situation try to be fluid as much as possible with the speed that the current traffic situation is following and the last but not the least always apply 70% brake to the front brake lever and 30% brake at the rear based on the situation the percentage might vary but try to apply as much as force as possible onto the front lever and that's about it you know we cannot predict that when an accident will happen we can only safeguard ourselves from all of this misery i have been through couple of accidents i have lost couple of my friends with motorcycle accidents and it scares me but remember one thing prevention is better than cure you can prevent many things from happening and that should come from you nobody can teach you nobody can tell you that this is what you should be doing in order to stay alive on the road no it's not possible but you will have to judge the situation you will have to become that responsible rider where you know you can take a call this is not good this is not legal this is not proper those kind of questions you have to ask yourself you can be an explorer you can be a racer you can be a dirt rider you can do so many things you can you can be a cruiser guy you can be an adventure guy whatever it is motorcycling has many flavors now you have to figure out what works for you if you just like to speed if you like speed go on a race track buy rc390 and enjoy if you like to tour then buy something that matches your expectation and ride that bike as per the situation do not push your bike to that limit where you cannot control it and do not push your luck because today you might be lucky but tomorrow you might be dead thank you so much for watching i hope you guys like this one if you have made it till here then please make sure to subscribe and i'll catch you in the next one till then bye bye